meeting with the Prime Minister, uh, what is the issue? Uh, uh, we had uh, a number of issues that we discussed uh, and all very, very important issues. And uh, we have discussed uh, uh, and updated him regarding the uh, discussion going on on the border talks. Uh, and he expressed his uh, concern about uh, different um, incidents that keep taking place and why within a country these matters cannot be resolved. And he was very, very appreciative of the leadership in the Northeast for having taken the initiative. Uh, and he said that these are very difficult challenges, but yet uh, the leadership in different states is now taking this up. And I, he expressed a lot of happiness in that. And he assured of all support from the government side. Similarly, for uh, the talks with the HNLC also, he was very keen that uh, there should be long-lasting peace uh, in the state of uh, Meghalaya. And uh, again, he expressed uh, his uh, uh, happiness and he wanted us to move forward in this uh, issue and try to resolve it at the earliest. Uh, we placed before him the need and uh, desire of the people of the state for the inclusion of um, Garo and Khasi language in the eight schedule. And for that also, he understood the concerns that were there. He understood the uh, challenges that our people are facing. We mentioned to them that uh, out of the entire process, uh, the fact that our children have to sometimes uh, are not able to give the examination because there are languages which are not uh, known to them, uh, those languages come up and this pro uh, puts a lot of challenges. And so even if provisions can be created where at least in the examinations uh, for a starting point we could have some kind of provisions. Up to that level also we discussed with the Prime Minister. We sat for almost 25 minutes with him. I think one of the longest meetings we have had with the Honourable Prime Minister. And um, he said that yes, these are genuine concerns. Uh, but he expressed the challenges in terms of the different uh, languages, having the different... Uh, uh, different uh, uh, scripts that are there and having to manage all of that. So those uh, challenges were there but uh, he definitely uh, has, uh, has expressed his concern about this issue and uh, he said definitely that he will examine it. Uh, similarly for the ILP also, we expressed our concerns. Uh, today happens to be the International Indigenous Day and just one day before that we met Honourable Prime Minister and expressed to him uh, the desire of the people of the state to have a mechanism in our state where we could uh, have uh, provisions through which we could uh, protect the interest of the people of the state. And hence uh, we expressed that uh, ILP is one of the ways in which we can do it. Uh, we have tried through MRSSA also, we explained to him about MRSSA also. And he gave us a very patient hearing and uh, he understood the concerns uh, of the people of the Northeast. And uh, he also has uh, said that he will examine the matter uh, and he will be in touch with the state government and he will have a discussion with the Home Ministry also. Uh, apart from that, we had mentioned to him about the externally aided projects. As you are aware that uh, about 80% of the amount that uh, comes to Meghalaya uh, is repaid back by the Government of India. Um, that is meant for the Northeast states. And hence, Government of India approves the projects that are uh, finally uh, sanctioned uh, and the government of India has uh, made a comment and finance ministry that uh, Meghalaya has, uh, uh, has uh, applied and for more than 12,000 crores which is higher than uh, all the rest of the other northeast smaller states put together. So therefore uh, there has to be a, some kind of a control over, uh, over Meghalaya's proposals because they have taken more than what other small states have taken and hence we requested uh, the Honourable Prime Minister that uh, we are performing and the reason why we are getting these projects cleared by the different banks is because uh, we have been able to implement properly and submit the necessary reports properly and hence um, uh, we should not be penalised for that. Uh, and so Honourable Prime Minister understood and we told him also that uh, based on the different uh, life cycle approach that we have and how Government of India's programs are actually being complemented by, um, by these projects that we've taken up under the EAPs. And hence these EAPs are actually helping us in the overall goals and targets which Government of India itself has put forward and Government of India itself is trying to achieve.